some of the things growing up uh, on the farm, my dad, uh, we had staples, certain staples that, that we had to live by in the house, and if we ran out of, uh, it was trouble in the reef household. Sweet tea, pound cake, butterscotch, well that wasn't a staple, but that was one of my favorites. <laughs> liver mush. How many of y'all had liver mush before? You know what I'm talking about? Liver mush. Liver mush. It's a, you might call it scrapple. 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 Liver pudding. Um, haggis, I think is another. It's a little different. Haggis? Okay. Well, well liver mush is it's a Western North Carolina specialty. And you take it's dirty to buy it by law. <laughs> it's a law. So I'm not called that. It's a law. It's kind of funny. 30% uh, liver. This is from, all made from a wonderful animal called a pig. <laughs> you know what I'm talking he's about. Eating, he's eating. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll wait till you finish that. <laughs> no, and, and uh, I kid you not, we had a we had an unspoken a law that in North Carolina that you use everything of the you know when, when you're when you're using a pig, you use everything but the squeal. <laughs> everything was edible. Everything was edible. If you kidney it, we figured out a way to cook it down and make it edible. It was good. But liver mush, it comes in a little little cube, little block, and um, it's kind of grayish looking. Probably comes from the liver. 30% liver, cornmeal, and a bunch of spices mixed in together. And one of the things I was looking online was like, you can't find it in California. I don't know why. <laughs> but you can find it all over the South. You know, it's, a, it's pretty, it's pretty good. So I was back in Virginia a while back, and I was looking online trying to find out what it was called in different places of the country, different parts of the country, because they don't have liver mush. I talked to my friends back there, and they said, no, 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 This is next to D.C. No liver mush. What is that? So I was looking online and realized that, um, so I was describing it to people. Well, it says here on, online that uh, they use everything uh, from the neck up. Now you know what I'm talking about? No. Mm, 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 mm. You know, it's going to start getting funny looks from, from people. But uh, I found some at a, an grocery store in Virginia. Ooh, that's in D.C. Yes, yes. Um, they call it Nova. Nova, Northern Virginia. Nova. <laughs> but, um, but it's called Scrapple. And so I, I took some pictures of it, bought it. I took some pictures of it so I could send it to my friends and then post it online to show that I actually found it. But I took it back to the friend's house and, and fried it up and it was still good. So if you ever get a chance to find liver mush, it's called scrap or different places. Um, but that was one of those one of those things along with peanut butter, not that we ever mixed the two together. My brother did, but I didn't. My brother made all kinds of stuff. He'd come in, he like a Dagwood sandwich, but it was leftovers. You know, Dagwood from Blondie, he would, uh, you know, whatever was in the fridge and stack it on top of each other and put a little all of it, stuck on top of it and call it a sandwich. Well, my brother would do that, and then he would just kind of eat whatever was there mixed together. But um, but my but my dad swore that if, if uh, we ever ran out of tea and peanut butter on the same week, you know, it was grounds for divorce. So we always made sure that, you know, and we loved our parents, so we always made sure that there was plenty of sweet tea made <laughs> and peanut butter bought from Wendy's. And uh, now the sweet tea in our house had two two-thirds cups of sugar mixed in it. Two two thirds cups. Now at the at our house today we use about a half a cup of sugar period. And that's plenty of sweet. And if I throw it just a little bit more, if I get a little heavy handed, you know, when I'm putting the sugar in, the kids think, Oh that that's a little bit too much. So my dad always made it two two thirds cups. So a cup and a third of sugar. And he we mix it in there. And it's funny because you go it's funny why people in restaurants when they order sweet tea or they order tea, right? And they, they want to add sugar to it to sweeten it. And they mix it all together and it gets down to the bottom and it's like a glob. You know, and see, you got to get it hot and mix it in beforehand, or you got to get that sweet low powder and mix it in and then it's sweet. Because it's already pulverized. That's the main thing. 